Yeah, good morning students. In this video, I will be discussing on how to generate the plots using NS3. So let us take a small example. I am taking the same example which I already discussed in my previous videos that is point to point network in simulation of point to point network using NS3. This code is already uh, aware of you. So the complete explanation about this code is available in my previous videos. So the link for the video is available in the description box. So I recommend you first to watch that video, understand the complete uh, uh, code of the program and then you come back to this video to understand how to generate the plots. Okay. So let's start the uh, program how to generate. So in order to generate the plots, uh, we need to have some trace files. So here uh, already you know how to generate the trace files. So I am generating here uh, two trace files uh, based upon the number of packets. So for example, uh, I am considering here is maximum packets is two. Okay, and then I am generating the trace file. I am naming the trace file as 2p.tr. It's two packets trace file. Just for understanding, I am naming it as 2p.tr. Okay, I will just run the program and I will try to generate two trace files. One for two packets and another for uh, what I call that uh, uh, four packets. And I will see what is the throughput for that. Okay, I will compare what is the throughput for two packets and the throughput for four packets. Okay. First, I will generate the trace file. Uh, how to run the code, you know, I think. Just go to the terminal. I am entering into uh, root directory. Okay. Change the directory to desktop. NSR in 3.27. You know how to execute the code. Uh, from there, go to NS3.27. Then type dot slash waf hyphen hyphen then scratch uh, what is the file name p1 okay it's executed I will check whether the trace file has been generated or not ls uh, here you can see the trace file has been generated by 2p.tr. Okay, so I will generate one more trace file uh, for four packets and I will see what is the throughput. So we will see uh, how to check the throughput. We will see afterwards using uh, trace matrices and you can check the throughput. So for timing, I'm just generating the trace files. Okay, now I will uh, generate one more trace file for four packets. Okay. Any number of packets just for demonstration, I am taking two packets and four packets. Now I am taking four packets and uh, and I am naming it as 4p.tr. Means the trace file is generated for four packets. Okay. Again, I will run the code. So now I'll click check ls whether the file has been created at yeah, 4p.tr. Now what I will do, I will just check the throughput. What is the throughput for 2p.tr trace file and what is the throughput for 4p.tr. In order to check, we need trace matrices okay, to analyze the trace file. I think uh, uh, I already discussed you how to download the trace file and also how to analyze the trace file using trace matrices. So you can refer my previous videos in order to understand that. Okay, however, I have put the video in the description box. You can check it once again. So now what I will do, I will just open the trace matrices and I will analyze the throughput of both uh, P2 and P4 trace files. Okay. So I will just go to terminal again. 
again I will enter into root directory okay now go to desktop so already I told you in order to analyze the trace files we need trace matrices application so now I am changing directly to trace matrices so how to open trace matrices all those you please refer the video my previous video and then type java iphone jar trace matrix dot jar click enter then automatically trace matrices application will open there I will analyze the trace file now just go to file choose file there you are in root directory now I will just go to my home directory from there ready from there desktop ns solomon 3.27 ns 3.27 there you can see 2p.tr that is my trace file for two packets just open it and execute analysis here you can see the throughput are good put for time being I don't want to worry about uh, good put I want to open uh, read only the throughput so we have two nodes for 0th node the throughput is 700.944 something is there for node 1 we have 700.944 so I will just note down the throughput of these two nodes when the number of packets is 2 okay parallelly what you can do you can just open one uh, in the desktop you can open one uh, uh, text file so I have already made one text file you can name it as throughput.txt okay so there you can create that so first node is 0th node I am just recording the throughput here okay for 0th node what is the throughput 700.944 700.944 and for first node the throughput is what 700.944 both are same because uh, since it is point to point there will be no much variation just note down what are the values we got 700.944 okay please keep in mind the first one is there no 0 and 1 those are the node numbers we call it as column 1 next we have what is known as throughput for node 1 that is column 2 okay this I have recorded for throughput for two packets so similarly I will record it for now four packets again I will open the trace file again go to file choose file now I will go for 4p.tr it's trace file for four packets open it again execute analysis go to throughput now you can see the throughput for is for node not it is 841.958 841.958 I will just record it 841.958 Nine five eight. Okay. Similarly, for note, it will be same only. If not, you can check it. Eight four one dot nine five eight. Just close it. So our uh, uh, trace matrices part is completed. Okay. Uh, eight four one dot nine five eight. This is column three. Okay. So for node not, it is eight four one dot nine five eight, and for node one, it is eight four one dot nine five eight. Okay. This is for two packets. This is for three pack four packets. So just save it. I have named it as throughput.txt keep it in the desktop close it now I will write the script okay uh, to read the uh, to generate the GNU plot so the script is here I have already made it you can name it as gnu.plt dot plt extension you should view so what you can write I think it's visible so you need to right first set space terminal space pdf so the terminal means the executable file will be in pdf that is the meaning then set space output this is the file name i am giving throughput dot pdf okay please see that the text file and the uh, pdf file should be correct okay next set the title uh, any title name of the plot graph you can give i am giving it as throughput versus number of packets because i have just recorded for two packets what is the throughput and for four packets what is the throughput so just title you give any title you can give so now I am setting the label for x axis that is the node number okay and uh, labeling for y axis that is throughput in bits per second that is what the throughput I am calculating so now I am plotting the graph that is plot space I am just calling my text file because that contains the details of both the uh, trace files throughput.txt using first and second column I mean, this is for first means node numbers second means throughput for 
two packets with line points titled two packets okay. for two packets i am just taking the first and second column means node number and throughput again i am taking throughput.txt using first and third column this is for next packet what is four packets so first column will be same that is a node number but second column is throughput for two packets and the third column is the throughput for four packets okay i'm just giving the uh, line points and the name for that is two packets and the uh, second time the line point name is four point packets you can give any name not a problem okay just save it and then close it now in order to read this gnu.plot files we need one application known as gnu plot so first you can download that gnu plot just go to desktop okay uh, go to desktop and then just type gnu plots and then click enter okay one second please enter into root directory one second go to terminal I will just enter into root directory. Just first install that is sudo space apt space install uh, gnu plot. And that is the application that we need in order to analyze the gnu dot plot plt file. Click enter. Then uh, it is already installed, I think. So first install this gnu plot. So everything is installed. Then what I will do? Now I will go to again desktop because in my desktop we have the gnu plot file. So just you type now here gnu plot after installing that gnu plot package space and then pass this file gnu.plt gnu.plt and then click enter. So no errors. So go to desktop now. The file will be created now. So this is the PDF file created throughput.pdf. Just click on it. So now you can see here the file generated for two packets. This is the color. For two packets, what is the throughput? 700. Here you can see. And for four packets, this one. This is the color where you have 840. So in this way, you can easily uh, generate. You just right click it and then you can uh, select it or take the printout, whatever you want. So in this way, you can easily generate the plots uh, using GNU plot in NS3. So hope so you understood. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos. Bye.